Hi, I'm Rob Swift. Today I'm in a 2014 Airstream 23D International Signature Series. We're going to talk a little bit about the heating and air conditioning controls for this particular model. Heating and cooling will come from one of two places. Either the central unit in the ceiling or the furnace that's below the couch. The ceiling unit is responsible for air conditioning, using just the fan or heat pump mode. All three of those require for the trailer to be plugged in and be on AC power. The heat pump, or I'm sorry, excuse me, the furnace down below uses propane for heat and does require the batteries to be charged so that you can control it. We'll talk a little bit about the thermostat and its operation. The thermostat is located in the bathroom area. You can hit the power button to bring on the light so that you can see its controls. I'm just going to go over the basic operation today, not talk about the different zones, which this particular trailer does not have. In larger trailers, you may have multiple units and multiple zones. So as long as you see the one solid and two, three, four flashing, um, it's in its normal mode. If for whatever reason it was not there, you can toggle through with the zone button and make sure you get it back to where the one is solid and two, three, four are flashing go through the different modes of operation. It's in off right now. First one is cool, then auto, heat pump, furnace, fan only, and then back to off. In cool mode, it'll run the air conditioning system and try and bring the temperature of the trailer to what you have set. You can look at the inside temperature by hitting this button tells us that it's 51 degrees in the trailer so obviously the system is not going to come on with it set to 70. We'll switch modes to auto which will kick in either the furnace or I'm sorry the heat pump or the air conditioning to bring the trailer to this temperature which we have set at 72 so knowing that the inside temperature is 51 should bring on the heat pump in order to make the trailer warmer. In any of these modes you can use the fan button to change the fan speed from auto to low, medium, high, or back to auto. In auto, the fan will turn off and on as necessary. If you have it in any of the other three speeds, the fan stays on constantly, even when the compressor is on or off, um, depending on what's going to happen. Sometimes for sleeping overnight, it's better to leave the fan on and have a constant noise then hear that turn off and on. I'm going to put it back to auto and we've heard it kick on. You can see the hourglass light is on. There's a delay um, like with many models that it takes a few um, up to I think three minutes even for the system to come on. Um, I don't know if you can hear that through the microphone but I hear that the compressor just started and then the fan will come on just a few seconds after that. There we go. So that is the unit now running in heat pump mode trying to bring the trailer to 72 degrees. Next mode is heat pump which we know it's already in. Change the temperature settings with the button. Once again measure the inside temperature. Next mode is furnace. Furnace, you need to make sure that your propane tanks are on. Um, I can hear that the, uh, the fan for the furnace just kicked on. One thing that is important um, in addition to having your propane tanks on is to make sure that the fan is in auto mode. If you have the fan in low, medium, or high, the fan for the upper unit will turn on and most of the time that's not um, the desirable state. You want to only be using the fan for the furnace itself. Next mode is fan only. 
Same thing, go through the different fan speeds. If you are trying to use the fan just to circulate air within the trailer. And then finally back to off. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel and look for other instructional videos on how to use your camper.